According to Iowa One Call, the rule is that you've got 18 inches on either side of that facility to dig. If you have to dig here, then, the, then that's what you have to do. But you've got to use common sense, knowing what's down there, and be extremely careful when you're digging around it. The, the tolerance zone is 18 inches on either side of the mark, and sometimes we'll exceed that in our hand digging to make sure. I mean, we'll go up to three feet on either side of that mark to, just to make sure that, you know, we're down far enough, deep enough, far away enough in the tolerance zone to make sure that that's not going to get crossed and hit. Anytime you disturb an underground structure, there's the, the possibility that you've already created damage. We, we need to do what it takes to make sure we don't hit it because it'll cost us a lot of time and money if we do end up hitting it. Typically, it could easily take an hour. It could take a half a day. It could take 20 minutes. Whatever it takes, we'll make sure we take the necessary actions to make sure we don't hit it. If you hit something, a lot of times it's very obvious that you've hit it, especially when all of our gas systems were steel and we had ductile iron for water. It was very obvious if you hit those. You could feel it on the backhoe. Anymore, we have poly, uh, like this little half-inch CTS. It's not, you can't feel it any different than you could a tree root. Gas, it could be just a very small leak. And then it migrates into all the surrounding structures before anybody notices it's there. Okay, it can be just a very small pinhole leak that nobody noticed at the time that they hit it. But as it saturates the soil and builds up around, goes through all the voids, then we could have a big gas pocket or maybe an explosion before anybody realized that it had happened. It's very, very important that contractors understand the laws. Um, you know, as a contractor, they are the liable um, party for any type of digging. If there is a cut fiber or any type of cut cable out there today, and especially fiber, um, you do not um, want to have the cost coming back on you. The escalating costs uh, involved in, in cutting main fiber could be tremendous because as an example, if you cut a business that has uh, high-speed internet and has connections outside the community, the potential there for, for loss to the, the business are tremendous and uh, you could be liable for a substantial cost. We have responded to nine fiber cuts this year um, one of them being on a wind farm, and because of that fiber cut, the wind farm had to shut down 22 turbines. Um, it took us two days um, to get it repaired because of circumstances, but the contractor was more concerned about what my cost was going to be of repairing, but what he found out later was the windmill company come back and charged him for lost revenue on those windmills, and it ended up being uh, a pretty good chunk of money. We'll actually put our own locator down there even after Warren County has come out and marked it, just to verify that it's there, we'll do what it takes to find it. One of the scary things about the electric is that if you hit the ground or if you hit the uh, high service line, it's going to start losing current to that facility. And you could do a lot of damage inside that facility because they are not getting the amps that they need to run their, their equipment now. They'll be getting the volts, but then they don't have the amps to back it up because well, like I say, after one year with this nick right here, we've already lost 30% of what it'll handle, the amp load. We're still carrying 600 volts, but it won't carry 125 amps. The warning tape that is put in with all the fiber uh, is very important because if somebody accidentally does dig and without calling, you should run into that uh, warning tape before you get to the fiber. Again, uh, it's, it's about uh, 8 to 10 inches uh, above the fiber, so... You know, don't, don't dig beyond the warning tape, call. Fiber is being used everywhere, in ethanol plants, biodiesel plants, windmill, uh, fiber of the home projects like this for little independent phone companies to the big companies. So can't stress enough about calling Iowa One Call. Very, very important. If you get into a, a main fiber, and that again depends on the location, uh, you could potentially isolate the whole community, uh, shutting off everything. TV, phone service, E911, everything. Each one of these fibers can handle a lot of information today. I've heard everything from 50,000 conversations at one time over one fiber all the way up to over 100,000 conversations. If it's a big fiber, it's got a lot of toll and a lot of special circuits and 
You know, everybody uses the internet today. Everybody relies on the internet today. There are going to be companies that are going to go after those contractors for lost revenue, and that's where the majority of your cost is going to be as far as cutting the fiber today. Um, and that can range anywhere from 10 to 100, you know, 200 thousand dollars, depending on the size of a fiber. The capabilities of fiber optics over copper are, are just unbelievable because uh, the only limitations on fiber are the electronics. Uh, a single strand of fiber, uh, which we're doing here, is uh, actually providing regular telephone service, uh, high-speed internet service, as well as video. But if you cut a fiber, uh, a mainline fiber that's within a an alley or something, uh, it, it may cut out a block, uh, two blocks, ten blocks, uh, so you never know. And it's just not the lost revenue or what it's going to cost, but it could actually endanger somebody's life. We use a lot of polyethylene now in our gas systems. We're not worrying about corrosion on this, just the physical damage to this pipe, but we use a tracer wire to locate this. And if you nick the coating on the tracer wire, then it's going to corrode into it. Uh, just as we have right here, then that line, uh, uh, you can't locate it anymore. Everybody anymore keeps records, and there's a good chance if you've, if you've nicked that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come back and haunt you before 10 years. That, that's almost a guarantee. Anytime you do any, any construction or any digging of any kind, you definitely uh, want to call one call first. I stress Iowa one call to everybody. Um, I've had people call me up and ask me who, who makes that call. Is it the contractor? Is it the homeowner? And if it's a homeowner asking me, I always tell them it's the contractor's responsibility to call Iowa One Call.